After the game, very little of the conversation had to do with basketball. And that that got the most attention was this from an emotional Doc Rivers who has been around the NBA for such a long time, such a well-respected figure, addressing the shooting of Jacob Blake and his own frustrations over the lack of social justice in our country. Here was Doc last night. All you do is keep hearing about fear. It's, it's amazing to me why we keep loving this country and this country does not love us back. And it's just, it's really so sad. Like I should just be a coach. And it's so often reminded of my color. We're the ones that need to be scared. We're the ones having to talk every to every black child. What white father has to give his son a talk about being careful if you get pulled over? It's, it's just ridiculous. And, and it just keeps getting, it keeps going. Uh, there's no charges. Breonna Taylor, no charges, nothing. All we're asking is you live up to the Constitution. That's all we're asking for everybody. For everyone. Thank you. Powerful words from Doc Rivers last night, and he was by no means the only one talking about those issues, and we will cover that here. David Fisdale and the great Vince Carter are with me this morning. And, gentlemen, we will talk about basketball later in the show, but that certainly didn't feel like the place to start. So, so Vince, I would just love to hear your thoughts. As you heard Doc there, and you have followed all that has happened and all the conversation that has come from the NBA bubble and the leadership they are providing, what thoughts do you have this morning? Well, guys, let's start with this right here. Where's the lie? <laughs> Where's the lie in what he said? Everything he said hit home uh, hearing it again. And, and, and it is fear. And I have uh, young kids. And at the young their young age right now, I am having those type of conversations, maybe not in depth as, as I would have with oh, 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 my oldest or cousins or friends, but it's kind of like, hey, you know, you have to be careful with the police. It's not like, hey, when you're in trouble, you go over to to that cop right there and you you ask for help. You know, it's just right now, it, you know, uh, I, I saw a, a post from Snoop and, and he showed the difference in how um, uh, cops are handling different races. And, you know, right there, it just hits home. It's like this guy's pulling a knife on a cop and everybody's kind of standing back, just pointing, pointing, but not one a uh, shot was fired. This guy was breaking up a fight, checking on his kids, and he shot in the back seven times. I mean, this, this can't happen. And we need to be on this doorstep of uh, of the captains, of the police stations, and, and whoever needs to, 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 to fix these problems. That's the doorsteps we need to be on today. It's worth pointing out it was not in that piece of the sound that we ran, Doc Rivers. It was a, a lengthy comment. He, he did point out that his own father was a police officer, uh, which I think feels relevant in the conversation here. Coach Fizz, I'll, I'll just give you the floor. What thoughts do you have this morning? You know, he, he, he hit the nail on the head. I think, uh, you know, this, this propaganda is being put out about our community that people should be afraid of us and that we're the, the, we're the problem and we're going to come invade the suburbs and, and, and you know, hurt your property value and bring crime and all of this other crap that's being spewed. And ultimately, let's be honest, Doc hit it. You know, we're the ones that should be afraid. Uh, we're the ones giving our kids the talk. You know, we talk about our kids. I'm still afraid. You know, I get pulled over or I see a cop's lights flashing near me. Hell, I'm afraid. So it's not just me fearing for my son. It's me fearing for my own life. And so, you know, you look at the violence that's been perpetuated in the United States uh, constantly from a domestic terrorism standpoint, and that ain't black men that's doing that uh, uh, most of the time. That's not black women doing that, um, you know. And so when you talk about being afraid for your life, um, you know, we have to really start addressing our fear. And that's why we're out screaming at the top of our lungs that Black Lives Matter. Gentlemen, thank you both for those thoughts. I'm going to ask you to sit. Go ahead, Vince. You have another thought. Go ahead. You know, uh, and, and I want to say this. And, and you know, you know, the times are changing. And, and, and 
times are changing when now I walk to to the to the bottom of, of my driveway to check the mail or take the garbage out and would see a police riding in the neighborhood, checking on the neighborhood or whatever they're doing. And there's hesitation. And now, unfortunately, I'll we'll, we'll make sure I have my phone and my ID in my pocket. Just for that, just in case. It's not because, hey, maybe he'll know who I am, whatever. No, that none of that matters. It's, it's the fear, like Fizz, like Doc, like everyone else is talking about, that we're concerned. And that, that is a concern of mine, and it's unfortunate. Sometimes I, when I walk down there, and I'm like, I have my ID and my phone in my pocket just in case. That's a problem. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.